Hi, I'm Jordan Long, and today I'm going to talk about, you know, copyright, YouTube copyright. Now, everyone has talked about YouTube copyright on some movie or something. Now, the reason, now the points to why YouTube copyright is talked about is that the system is, well, besmirched. The system is probably always the system has been besmirched since the beginning, since 2005 AD. Now, do we have any proof of this? No, but we can come up. We can come up with a belief it was. Now, apparently, copyright was set up to protect, or at least, the work of others that was being used or shown or, you know, worked with without someone asking for it. Now, even though copyright infringement takes sundriest different ways, this isn't about copyright infringement. This is about uh, copy fraud. When somebody puts a false copyright claim with YouTube, and YouTube being dumb, we don't know how smart some of these men and women are, uh, fall for it. You know, yeah, under federal law, you have to comply with whether whatever the cop, whatever the owner says he or she wants to be done with their work. True. But what if the owner in question is not the owner? They're not even the lawyer. They're just someone who wants to get someone in tr somebody in a bind with YouTube since they don't like them. Let's give you a, a saga or a tale. Let's say, for example, I don't know. It's very easy to get yourself in the bind with copy fraud. All you have to do is just be making a movie like this, talking about copy fraud. And next thing you know, somebody's going to claim, I own that movie. And then YouTube does whatever they do when they, when they receive a, a notification to them. They automatically assume that that owner is the owner. Or whoever they think it is, you know they don't they don't investigate. They don't go to see if it actually is the owner. They don't wait for get notification. Now copyright is a little different, meaning you have to actually have it lead. You have to actually have it booked. You got to actually get your work. Actually, you got you have to have it signed off. You had to have it booked that it was copyrighted. And copyright only works for like one year. Then you got to renew it for another year. Now, most of these men and women who submit these false claims don't own the works in question. So they can't submit anything to say, yeah, I own it. You would think that at that point, they would be in a bind. No, YouTube just uh, goes, yeah, you're the owner. And they don't ask questions until a dispute starts. Now, let's say you're some channel like me who has never, ever been in a bind with copyright whatsoever and has no win how to file out the claims, doesn't know what to put in, doesn't know what not to put in, doesn't know how to counter any claims. That means my good standing of copyright just goes, boom, your good standing of copyright is now gone, you know, and you have no proof to say you own this movie. That's true. I never got my movies copyrighted. And how can I? I'm just making movies for free on YouTube. Um, I'm, so, yeah. It'll be my word against their word. But the worst thing is I wouldn't know he's and know how to he's encounter it. So, but sadly it goes like this. Somebody out there can get someone on copyright and they don't even own it. So I'd like to know how that works. You know, let's say, for example, there's some, let's say, for example, I don't know. You know, some, but let's say, for example, somebody, you know, gets, you know, let's say Oscar gives somebody a gift. She gives them one of their masks that she used to use. And next thing you know, someone out there has a geisha mask. And next thing you know, this follower thinks he or she owns it since they got it as a gift and then follows a false copyright claim. And then that channel gets in a bind.
loses their good standing. You know. So it is what it is. It's kind of sad. And it's always going to be sad. And that's why I don't do anything that would constitute as fair. I don't do anything on my YouTube channel that somebody out there could say, yeah, that's copyright. You know. And I've made a lot of movies since 2013 AD, of course, for about five years of movies. And none of them have anything in it that anyone could actually go on and say it was copyrighted. And I'm happy to say I never got in a bind with, with true copyright infringement. And with copy fraud, that's not even true copyright infringement. That's somebody out there that's like false flagging it. Oh, I don't like your channel, Jordan, because you're like, because you're being like the community channel. So let me, let me flag it for infringing upon copyright because some dummies at YouTube won't ask any, won't ask any, won't ask me anything. They'll just, they'll just assume I'm the owner. And sadly, that's what happens. And a lot of channels, both partnered and not both, get hurt. You know, not just the partner channels, but the non-partner channels as well get hurt. You know, it besmirches channels. It takes away good standing. It gets channels suspended and terminated. You know, it, it just really, really sad. So, yeah, the YouTube copyright needs to be worked on. Yes, there does need to be protection. There does need to be handicaps for any YouTuber, regardless of who they are, who fought, who falsifies, who makes fr fraudulent copyright claims on a work that's not theirs. Even if they own something, even if they have a gift or, you know, they have to, there actually has to be handicaps put in effect for someone who falsifies copyright claims, who makes fake copyright claims, we'll put it that way or makes false copyright sagas and tales. YouTube should have it where you need to identify yourself. You need to submit actual work, you know, documents, whatever you want to call it, saying you are who you are before you can go through the procedure. It shouldn't just be, oh, I take your word for it. It should be, well, no, you need to prove you who you are. I don't know how they go by doing that, but there needs to be some way for them to prove they, who they are before they submit their claims, you know, kind of sad, but it needs to be fixed. I'm Jordan Long and I'll see you later.